Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Adobe Acrobat Reader DC in SCCM using the third party third party software update catalog. So let's take a look. Here you go, my SCCM console. So what you need to do is go into the, the console and then go to software library. And under software library, you should go to software updates. And then third party software update catalogs. As you can see, there is no Adobe. And if I go to all software updates, and type in Adobe Acrobat. I have no Adobe Acrobat. All right, now let's get started and configure the Adobe Acrobat. You want to right click on the third party, go to Add Catalog. You need to enter the URL of the Adobe Acrobat Reader Catalog. The publisher is Adobe and the name is, we're going to do the continuous track. So it's Adobe Reader, DC continuous track descriptions. I'm just going to copy that, put that here. Support URL, support contact. We don't need that just for testing. I'm going to click next, and I'm going to click next and close. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to subscribe to the catalog. Click next. Next, I'm going to view the certificate. Check the box and click next and next and close so the next thing you need to do is you're going to sync we did the subscribe and now we're going to sync you can view the log files for the status so the log file should be in your SCCM folder under logs and the name of the file all I remember is it start with ISV so it is SMS underscore ISV updates underscore sync agent It's give me an error, unable to continuous trail fail, a track fail to continuous processing this catalog. Let me see. All right. It failed originally and then it, it started again. Now it looks like it is sinking. While it is syncing, I'm going to pause the video once when it's finished and then I'll, I'll continue the video. All right, look like the uh, sync is completed. 
W cells successfully sync and zero fail. Update completed. So now since the sync is finished, what you need to do is you need to go into the administration, sites and configuration. You're going to right click on your site server. Oops, wrong one. You're going to right click and then configure software component and then choose software update. Under products, you want to make sure you want to make sure you check Adobe. Hmm. Looks like not sure why it's not in here. Um, usually, maybe this is the newer versions. Let's take a look. Um, so, since it's not in there, I'm going ahead and force the uh, software update sync by going to software library. And then go to all software updates and then sync software updates. This is going to take a while. Um, as you can see, it is syncing right now. Once it turns green, I'm going to take a look at the um, to see if it shows up in the software updates. Let's pause the video and we'll come back. All right, look like it is green now. Um, I probably have to go in here and add Adobe. Let's right click component, configure site component, software update point. Go to products and there it is Adobe Reader. Click OK. Now let's go back to software library. I'm probably going to have to run a sync one more time. Yeah, let me force the thing one more time since it didn't show up um, the first time. It's going to take a while to sync. There it is, it starts syncing. Now let's pause the video and welcome back. All right, let's see. It's still syncing. Let's take a look at the log file. Logs. W Sync Manager. All right, look like it is almost completed. Let's take a look at the status. All 
All right, look like it's syncing all the Adobe as you can see here. Adobe Reader DC, and it is almost finished. Let's take a look at the GUI. All right, it's finished. Now let's go to server library and search for Adobe Acrobat. There it is. So as you can see, it is blue. So if you want to deploy, first you need to do is you need to you need to publish the third party software updates content. So just say if I want to get the latest updates here, the 56, what you need to do is right click and then publish third party software updates. Before you can download and deploy, it must be green. And if you look at the log files, it's it's downloading. Let's try one more time. That that is Adobe Reader. Let's Let's get the multi-language. Right click and then go to publish third party. And look at the log file again. Download is 6% complete. So the um, publishing the contents will take a while. Um, so none of them turn green yet. Just keep looking at the log file. This will take some time. Um, I'm just going to pause the video. All right, look, as you can see right now, it is at 42%. So it's it's been 20 minutes. So it takes some time to, um, to download. So welcome back. All right, so as you can see, Sing has completed successfully. Let's look at the monitoring screen. Let's look at the software library and search for Adobe. Hmm. That's strange. It's not coming up. So technically, um, it's supposed to turn green. I'm not sure why. Let's see. Just gonna try um, to publish one more time. All 
oh you know what um that's right so once this the um the log file is completed i have to go into all software update and then run a sync one more time yeah it's it's a lot of process um <clears throat> just remember you have to enable it step by step so you got to go into the third party and then add it in here and then run the um you go to subscribe to catalog and then run a sync once you're in there you have to go into the software update configuration and then enable this the um, Adobe and you have to go back to the software library and run uh, choose the um, choose the patch you want to download right click and then go to publish third party server updates once you do that you have to go back here and then run the sync so right now it's probably syncing yep it is let's pause the video one more time and we'll come back all right look like the sync is completed again uh, let's go back to software library and search for adobe acrobat There it is, Adobe Acrobat uh, 256, the latest one. And there should be one more, the um, multi-language. These are the two that I um, that I uh, downloaded. So the, the process to deploy is the same. First, you need to create a software update group. It's the same process. Um, the same procedure that you uh, with um, that you in, uh, deploy and install and and uh, download and deploy Microsoft updates. It's you have to create a circ which is the software update groups and then download it and then deploy. It's very it's it's a similar process. So I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a great day.